Hey man, it's the ISO guy sensei to go on 2K in existence. And look, we got some more information from a new 2K insider, the leader of the 2K Lumina, saying that they gonna be fixing passing, fixing standing dunks, and there's no more RNG. People are lying about NBA Live coming back. NBA Live's coming back? The 2K community has had enough of 2K's antics. They are roasting NBA 2K's 25's future, okay? They're showing how dissatisfied they are with 24. And there's a lot more fake news we gotta go over. I gotta put y'all on. Before we get into any of that, y'all make sure y'all subscribe if y'all are new. Help me hit 296K. We are 20 subscribers away. Show love to your boy. Turn on them noties. Hit that damn like button, man. Passing by far is just been something that has been horrible. I guess you can say an annoyance for the horrible. community for a while, right? We did 24 might be the worst passing in 2k history maybe i don't know man i don't know man this might be the worst passing system ever bro y'all know and all been a part of a situation like this clip right here right you get a steal you on a fast break and you throw the ball and hit the, and hit the defender in the back of the head right he's like dude i have no Horrible. control over that setting Horrible. Of and look that was introduced in nba 2k 18 and it never left guys i was talking about it so much people didn't understand what i was saying bro because they're npcs y'all gotta understand the eye the talent that someone like me has who've been playing since the first 2k i notice things y'all know how when y'all drive for instance right and there's three people jumping at you and you pass the ball and it deflects off someone jumping at you that was not a thing pre 2k 18 it ruined everything you could not punish people for doing a bad jump and you beat your man someone comes and jumps and then you can easily get the corner three or the wing three but him jumping it deflects off him it's corny bro it's not realistic hey you're a super high rated super cerebral basketball player you can easily pass around all that but it's a feature it just hits off of them it's corny it doesn't reward who's the better player or none of that bro you feel me? It gotta be how it was pre 2K18. I'm telling y'all the truth. It's it's better for all people to enjoy the game way more. But pe people don't be believing me, man. <laughs> Pressing a button a certain way and you be able to throw it over the head. No, you just press X, right? You just Look. throw the ball up the court and you expect the game to do the right thing, which is throw yep. the proper pass, right? Which yep. is over the person's head. And yep. anybody, a 10 year old son can do that, right? Everybody knows you. Dibby! <laughs> God damn! Dibby. Hey, I'll be having a problem with sometimes you say, see, look, th this is good because he might be up in their ear. He might be up in their ear. He talking the real. This is the stuff I be saying when I be roasting these newer games, dog. That, and people are acting like they don't know this stuff is happening and the gameplay fine. It's not. Come on, man. Uh, 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 a max plate cleaner who never played basketball, man. Bro, he could not throw it off someone's head and you got a professional athlete. 0.0001% of the world. Like, come on, bro. You feel me? That was a great example. Good job. I be telling people, man. <laughs> You're not going to throw the ball and hit somebody in the back of the head. But that has been something that's uh -huh. been going on for the longest. Not uh -huh. only is it stuff like this, but it's also in situations when you're in traffic. And instead of doing a normal, like, pass, they're trying to do, like, an underhand pass, right? Uh -huh. Pass in traffic. Like, well, why are we doing that? Like, that shouldn't be happening. That is something that definitely needs to be looked at. Now, <laughs> yes. I thought about it for the longest and just was like, well, if an end, it basically it's RNG, right? And, and, and I don't know. You know what 2k can do but again this is why i put the suggestions out here what are y'all suggestions of how we can new fix engine, that new because engine. at the end of the day it has become a problem since i've been playing 2k um and that's why the new age 2k players they shouldn't bash older 2ks that they had a two win percent and 10 win percent are never played because you don't understand you cannot understand your present and your future without understanding your past okay you don't know your past, you don't know your future, okay? Your past dictates everything. Now, easily what they do is, you know, you saying this, I'm not too coding, and I don't think the 2K developers are uh, too much into coding <laughs> since they don't really understand how to get this game right and acceptable, presentable. But uh, if you got a decent passing rating, the higher you pass, the higher your passing rating is, you should always give him what the game sees as a great passing mechanic to get what you trying to get and pass to who you trying to pass to you know your your pass is much quicker sometimes you got like a 90 rating and throw in animations that like 70s be getting and stuff no you should be you no know, like it's your animations based off your rate you know it should be some type of you know where 
or 2K up where you get these nice animations. Like, it could be within the past styles. I mean, if y'all don't know, code it into the ratings. I don't know, but you gotta fix it. It's trash. And it messes up the gameplay because passing is basketball. It is 2K. People overhelp, overpinch, pick up, do this at the wrong time. You should be able to punish them, okay? If you can't and the little dumb RNG, it ruins the game. Right? That's why I be for these 2Ks, dog. And I started playing 2K obviously when the game first came out, but I'm talking about as far as parking, that type of deal, I started playing 2K in 2K19. And that's right. when I started okay. to realize, he I'm admitted. like, well, how do we like do a certain type of, and I'm not talking about like, you know, double taps, bounce pass, you tap something, it's a lob, you know, you press it hard. Nothing. Like you do have that type of ability on that the game, but we're just talking about basic stuff where like, you're like, there's no need to do any IQ thinking here. This person is open. There's a defender in front of you. You should be able to pass the ball without yep. any issue. I do not know. <laughs> what needs to be done with that but i have seen people with the highest pass accuracy um, i saw a video of another uh -huh. creator they had a 99 pass accuracy and they were just showing the fact that it doesn't uh -huh. matter how high his pass accuracy is no matter what type of passing mm -hmm. style you do you will continuously put yourself in situations where mm -hmm. you're my player just throws the ball intentionally hits defenders in the back of the head you know hits defenders guys be lying about what i be saying bro you could look at what i was saying in 2k18 i was talking about stuff like this in depth feel me so like i don't be lying dog i be, I be trying to put y'all on man i'm trying to help y'all have more fun but like, seriously man i'm not trying to make nothing cater to my play style like most of these npcs i'm god okay i do not struggle 2k bro like i'm literally like unstoppable <laughs> It's just any way you can think about it as far as messing up, that's what can happen. Now, I don't, I'm not smart enough to have any type of answers for that, okay? But I just know this is something that needs to be addressed, you know, in 2K25, uh -huh. as I just had to publicly put out there so it can be addressed. This needs to be fixed. There, it should not be a point in time anymore to where W leader of the 2K a Illuminati. Like I just showed a fast break, a person's right there in front of me. I press X and my, my player intentionally just throws the ball and hits the defender in the back of the head, right? Mm -hmm. Like that has to get out some way, shape, or form. I don't know if that has to do with the ability of, you know, not having the ability to maybe, you know, at a certain vicinity of how close you are to somebody, it automatically just, there's no, the defender cannot touch the ball or tip it. Or, you know, I don't know. And people are going to be like, well, you know, defensively, if I'm playing, and, you know, he throws, you know, stand the back from that. But I don't think I'm saying this simple. Simple, easy passes need to be just that simple and easy okay uh -huh. i'm gonna leave that there next thing right is the ability of missing dunks that are literally just you're just missing wide open dunks right or With the meter you're missing dunks that you shouldn't even miss so as you can see right here these are back-to-back -back plays to where both players are missing their dunks okay now i know right. what some of y'all gonna be thinking is like well unk you know uh, um, uh, hold on. it's over it's not open, open. Now, I know what, what some of y'all going to be thinking is like, well, um, well stamina, got Luca. I mean, Unk, you know, this is wide open. I don't know if this is wide open. But with the meter dunks, it, it got to be fixed. But the meter dunking is already broken. So it's like, they got us way to balance it. So, um, this bad shouldn't be dope. like, well, you know, there's a vendor around you. Well, I want to, I want you to answer this for me. You know, any of those end up saying that I want you to answer this for me. How many times have you seen in the NBA, a seven footer miss a dunk around the basket? That was Luca though. I, I'm just, wait, that's Luca though, right? Am I tripping, bro? Am I tripping? Let's go on this, this answer that. How many, is that Luca? You can make Luca seven foot in my team. Am I tripping, bro? How many times have you seen a seven footer miss a dunk around the basket? This is not a skill thing here. Oh, this is RNG. right here. Okay. Hold on. Let's see. This is a seven footer. This is not a skill thing here. It's Chris Bosch. Chris Bosch not seven foot. Is Chris Bosch seven foot? It say Chris Bosch six eleven. So I mean, maybe he is seven foot. I never thought he was seven foot. That's crazy. Miss a dunk around the basket. This is not a skill thing here. This is RNG. Okay. And a lot. He can have a lot of uh, defense. I don't know about them dunks. Eh, maybe, maybe. I don't know. How, how do y'all feel about it? A lot of it has to do with Anchor. In my humble opinion, I feel like Anchor is what's causing this. But as you can tell with Luca, Luca had the defender behind his back and he still missed it. I didn't do a, a pro stick dunk. I didn't do a standing pro stick dunk. I just pressed square and I the expectation is that should go in no matter what because I was in front of him when I did that. Same thing here, right? Um, Wimby was on the right side of the rim. I went up for the dunk on the left side of the rim. There's not a... That was Wimby. Might be like seven five, crazy shot blocking abilities. I don't know. Chester, like you know, Chris Bosch is easy dunk. That is a layup. That is one of the most easiest things. This is what the problem. Bro, Wimby was send Chris Bosch. 
I ain't gonna hold you with me with dude Chris Bosh, man. And it's prime. It's because Anchor, for some reason, shape, or form, has a formula in it to where it doesn't matter how open you are, doesn't matter how contested you are. And I understand this, and there's dunks, there's videos you see of people on fast breaks with defenders behind them and they miss the dunk, right? And a lot of that has to do with anchor. And I don't uh, think that should happen at all, at all. I don't, I don't think it's been a lot of this year. I don't know. I've been, I've been making my dunks because I don't know. I haven't seen it. Y'all let me know about y'all, but I've been making all my dunks but besides like the dumb meter stuff every now and then but bro i just the paint defense is so nerfed this year that there's like real no real paint that's why layups and stuff is way more op okay you can't have super layups and paint defense be amazing okay something has to give so don't understand that right but uh it's really easy to dom the paint because they want more offensive you know bad there's never been where you can be as effective as you know how they did the nerf in the paint d <laughs> you know your, your hand got it right near their hand really get a contest even even if you got them bodied up all that that messes up gameplay i ain't gonna hold you. especially when you play someone skilled mm. i don't think anchors have the ability and now, now and now he talking about that he wanted to be even more nerf. know about those to put fear in somebody's heart to where they're missing i think anchor um has Intimidator. Remember we used to have that Intimidator badge? I think the Intimidator yeah. might be in that in some way, shape, or form. Do you remember how Intimidator Probably was kind of like that? Where you be a fast break wide open, you go on a dunk and you miss it because somebody was like right beside you and you missed the dunk and that's because of Intimidator? Hey, Intimidator's a real life thing. I ain't gonna hold it. Intimidator's a real life thing. It really is. Say Curry shooting wide open to LeBron standing right next to him, looking at him. Even if he don't put his hand up, Curry's gonna miss more with LeBron. You know, it's he he's intimidated. Intimidating than someone that's, you know, short and like Bronstons. You know, he'd be less It's like that. Like I wanna miss it because I missed a shot because either my pro stick dunk, I, I mistimed it, or I try to dunk on somebody, right? Not because somebody's in the vicinity. But I want y'all to answer that question. Do you think you should miss dunks like how much should rng nations play in this game i feel like the less rng we have right the less animations we have when i say animations i'm talking about they're automatically gen generated for you right you didn't yeah. do anything it just happened because less you rng have the better gameplay i don't think that should happen i think that your skill and ability show how you do that we're not doing training wheels y'all remember how mario kart right like i do this for my sons right my, my younger ones I'm not, I'm not gonna hold you though. A lot of uh, the Sim Nation community, they be lying and stuff. But since 2K is even more towards them, that means more RNG, despite what they're trying to market and say, man, it's a marketing gimmick, bro. They're creating these games with more RNG to try to get 2K to be played how they want it to be played. Cause that's the only way. So if you make it with less RNG, <laughs> you know, if Mike Wayne out there playing God, <laughs> You see with someone of, you know, the swan statures. Where when Mario can play, you can set it up to where all they have to do is press X and you have different things. You can be like, it can do auto steer for you. It can do um, auto acceleration for you. It can do all this stuff to a base. Yeah, they done upgraded Mario Kart. I ain't played that whole year. You, get, you, got, you got automatic Elon driving cars. Basically, a little child could be able to just get on and, and stay in the lanes and drive all through and enjoy themselves. Did Bro, this is what I mean when I talk about video games. All video games is catering to the negative win percent. And I'm not talking about this kid or, or none of that, right? All video games are all catering to the negative win percent casual that's just not decent at gaming. So to do this whole skill argument and all, guys, Mike Wayne saying he's making it more accessible. Guys, it's not an argument. You're bodied, bro, right? Like if you keep defending that, you're really showing your NPC. See, bro. All multiplayer games are catering to casual. You can just hear what he said about Mario Kart. I didn't even know that existed. They're all trying to pull that normal guy that play these story mode games to increase their numbers. And that means they're making games more RNG. You know, they're doing things to make, to try to make it, to try and make that bot have a more enjoyable time. That guy, that 21 percent, that 10, 15, 1 percent. They're trying to make him, you know, you know, like anyone could get a kill, you know? The time's so low, it's so easy to kill someone. They're trying to make it mass peel, you know? They're not catering poopers that's really decent at the game. So the argument y'all be having with 2K, you're showing your NPC. Just because it's your era don't mean you got to defend it. It's because you're trying to feel special, okay? You got to evolve in life. Because you finally starting to play the games online and you hate the era that you wasn't a stop. Get some help. Okay. I think that's perfect. I don't think that's something for a game like this to where you have 
animations that do things for you without you, without you controlling it and dictating yourself. But I'm very curious to what y'all opinions are on this, okay? Passing animations and these animations of, and a lot of it has to do with RNG. And if you don't know what RNG is, it basically means random generated number. Like it's just some formula quickly to, quickly does something and determines the outcome for you, right? Um, instead of your ability to stick game to be able to dictate that outcome yourself. Him speaking about things, there could be less uh, RNG in 2K25 and they could be addressing the paint defense in the passing. Hopefully they uh, improve those things. So look, Luck, Solo, Jabridge, they're all tweeting this out. Even Uncle Demi made a vid, right? You know, it's this statement that EA is coming back and all this hopeful stuff is getting people a lot, very excited. Look, 90,000 views, right? And there was way more, right? With with other people. Guys, it's not, it's not real. It's from 2019, bro. Look, 2019. You can go click it and go see. It's not true. Now, Ronnie2K went into flight stream, man. We're we going we gonna to react to what Flight got to say. But look, look at this tweet. The downfall of the 2K franchise is a beautiful sight to see. They deserve every bit of it. <laughs> and a lot of people can't agree, man. Look, you know, people are saying uh, this casuals that have a problem with 2K just don't exist. And only comp and talented players uh, have issues with 2K, man. Ronnie is in the chat. Yo, what's up, Flight? It's Roddy. I've been wondering why you quit playing the greatest of all time 2K. The game is some <laughs> Ronald, fix the mother game. The game is some era. I mean, I only played the right. but bro, if y'all didn't have the Monty mode, I would have stopped playing the game in November. Damn. Ronald, take out the footy. Nobody wants to play that shit. This is not great. Real, real nigga. Like. Grand Theft Auto. Uh -huh. The city is like, bruh, it's like two earth puts you want to play the game. Yes. Take the city out. <laughs> yes. Put the OG rep back. There's just so many flaws, bro. It's a Santa Claus list. If Ronnie's still in the chat. A Santa Claus list. You know how long a Santa Claus list is? At this point, y'all literally should just copy and paste either 2K20, 2K19, or 2K16. Mm. Y'all have a great basketball game again. This is somewhat true, especially 2K16. You know, when I speak of 2Ks, like bringing older things back, I'm saying just copy paste it. I'm saying make it your main blueprint and then build on top of it. Like imagine 16 bind with new stuff you want to do with pro play. Like things like that, it make the gameplay way more fun for everyone, all levels, and it'd be way more enjoyable. Now, 20s cap, that's just, you know, that was just how everybody at home, it, it wasn't like that. Now, 19, me personally, I didn't fuck it like that. It was one of those broken 2Ks, but if you didn't play someone that was decent at the game, you could have a ton of fun on it. Dribble system was immaculate and uh, all that. But to be honest, how I look at 2K for the best, for some reason, the mass NBA audience enjoys 17 and 19 the most. Those are when 2K was the littest, okay? I would think it was 16 and 15 thrown into it too, even 14, but it was too early. A lot of people didn't really know about the game or people were kids and they didn't really know how to really do this and that they didn't know but 17 is when people started to find out and they knew and it, it exploded 17 and 19 that good you know but you know previous but unity love those games so when you go forward you should make games somewhat similar if you want your community to be somewhat happy you know and I'm willing to deal with that betterment of the community to have the community live because they enjoy them games the most for some reason. Now, as you can see, Dimework quote tweeted that and he said 19 and 20 were games I deleted and never looked back. This guy is insane. They were far from good basketball games, right? Then he quote tweeted this guy and he tagged me in it, right? I don't know why people were liking him tagging me. <laughs> Bro, y'all be like, yo, get him, Swan. Like, we fighting a war. This is hilarious. But then he said, he went and did some research. And he sent me some other stuff. This tweet's from 2019, September 15th. So the game just came out. And look what he says. I'm not going to lie. The movement this year is way more realistic. Look at this step cross at half court. Left this man with that Hall of Fame quick first step. Just like it would happen in real life. This is the best 2K I've ever played. Oh. Look at this. We don't get into what I say, but he said. He also said this nine days after the game released at the time. LOL. If you think a game is the greatest in the franchise after nine days, what does that say about you? <laughs> I be trying to tell you, dog. I be trying to tell y'all about that side of the community, bro. This guy's defending them. Then he says, so a game can go from the best ever to being deleted and never touched again in less than a year? Damn, they on his head. Damn. 
Damn, grinding for the logo, fight back. <laughs> Fraud at that dick, annoyed as hell. <laughs> and look, look, there's some YouTubers that be pumping them up on the tube, right? You know, when he tweets, it's uh, attacking a certain side of the community. They be pumping it up. This is how the community really feel, bro. They not showing you that side. Oh, he's a 2K rider, man. Every 2K is good to him when it's available for purchase. He happy to be here, man. He loving life. <laughs> look. Nah, they did it in 2K18. That this that same side of the community was loving 18 until several years later, right? That was like, it's realistic now. Oh, no. They was like double twisting back then. Complained all year. Annoying. He's a hypocrite. I exposed that. Only somebody cooked his ass. This motherfucker is annoying, man. <laughs> Yo, they not playing, bro. They not playing. This, this guy's like a random, so, you know. Just be lying impressions. Now look, here's what I have to say. Every new NBA 2K is the best for that side of the community. Recency bias panderers just be happy to have something new. Now, I know a lot of people, they like to be like, you're reminiscing of the past. You're romanticizing the past, right? But guess what? There's something stronger than that, guys. It's called the honeymoon phase. Okay? You dealt with females, new music especially. You really know how powerful the honeymoon phase is. Okay. Not a lot of people can overcome that in life. Now, as you can see right here, I said, and there's almost no greater feeling than new music and new with a bad, but reality will set in. You gotta have a bird's eye view in life and be able to foresee the future and the past and accurately measure. I'll be putting y'all on. Now look, people are infuriated with the 2K24 that they saying that so many people loved, right? 2.9 million views. They saying they want college basketball back and that they want nba live back right this is how this is how dissatisfied they are guys you know they want that old gameplay back apparently ncaa is uh our college football is it's like old stuff and I don't, I don't know and it's way better mechanics that people preferred i don't know but it don't it doesn't lie bro and these are all casuals bro there's not no sweats tryhards them guys do not even interact on the medias bro so that myth about casuals being that myth about only the comp and talented having an issue is not true. Now look, we got another thing. This is fake. Another picture and say anything and y'all believe it. I don't know what's wrong with y'all, right? 2.4 million views. What's up? It says break it. NBA 2K25 will include new features that will blow many fans' mind, making it the most realistic video game to date. I don't even think they said that in the uh, recent reports, to be honest. I might be wrong. But I don't think so. Look, 2.4 million views and only 1.7K likes. Look at the quotes. They're flaming the game. These are all casual ne negative win percents. Comp guys and talented people barely talk through typing and Twitter and all that. It's usually negative win percent casuals are just casuals. It's never like sweats. Like they look at that stuff as like, they don't even waste their time in the game. <laughs> I'm so serious. You guys don't know them, bro. I'm trying to tell you. People saying, you know, they, they barely do it. Only a percent of like real decent people really be on, you know, on the Twitter and all that. But all these quotes, it's almost as many likes. Look at this. If you're seeing this, that means people don't like 2K24, right? As a YouTuber, are you going to keep lying? Saying people really enjoy 2K24 and stuff? Look at all the comments. The comments almost match the damn likes. Look. You feel me? So th this is what I what I be speaking. I be speaking for the community, but y'all think I'm speaking for a certain percent. Jordy, they would prefer a game that that I be talking about, man. You know, but you know, just like the ABC community, small community is just taking over, man. Crazy, right? Anywho, y'all click the video on the screen. Y'all go watch my college football videos, man. They're hilarious, especially the first one I dropped. It's hilarious. Watch it. Check it out. You will laugh. And yeah. But hey, hey, here we go again. Yeah. Here, here we go again. People talking this, but when this hit the fan, everything I'm at made me. Now break it down. Yo, off the top of the dome, dome.